Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Josh. What's up, guys? Yeah, I need to start doing more uh, individual items together, like I used to do. I used to do that more often, but uh, we'll see. It's kind of hard to get a good supply of jerseys around here like it used to be, so that's why it's... I just don't do too many of the mixers that include jerseys and stuff. And, Hey, Daryl. Every time I sign on now, the last two or three days that I've been signing to YouTube, I don't really use YouTube for anything else other than this. It keeps suggesting hockey fights for me to watch because <laughs> I followed that link. Hey, Kathleen, what's up? Going for a second college hit in a row and a second huge hit in a row. I know that LA Authentic was sick. Hip right jerseys are such a wild card. They put some really nice authentics in their shirt. They do. That's kind of the thing. Valentine's Day Massacre should be what you watch next. <laughs> yeah, Jay Scott, I'm staying till the end tonight. He signed off. He's a Denver fan. We did that last break and pulled the Pro Line Authentic LA. I finally bid high enough that I didn't get sniped. I'm in on the Frozen Dozen. Nice. I'm excited. Frozen Dozen is one of my favorite. This is our last uh, Series 4. And then I think we maybe it's Series 1 of 2021, or it might be already Series 5. Let's see. I forget. Series 5. Easton's back. Okay, nothing to sell tonight. Uh, everything was, was claimed. Uh, even all three of our eBay or our Facebook breaks are full too, so we'll just get rolling. Try to stay a little more on schedule tonight. We'll probably do. Um, we'll probably do a live fill, a two boxer or a three boxer for Big Al's minis tonight, um, since we didn't do one on Facebook. Um, we'll do a hockey jersey live, most likely, and then we can probably do another football jersey or two as well. So. First up tonight, Hip Parade Diamond Edition. This is box 77 of 100 from Series 7. This is our second Series 7 or third Series 7 we've opened. Somewhat new. And then we got a Series 4 uh, Frozen Dozen underneath there. That'll be next from eBay. Those are the only two eBay, eBay breaks tonight. After that, we've got a three item, not the college one on top there. Uh, first round full size, first round jersey, gold rush jersey mixer from Facebook. And then we had a college jersey break. Uh, and then after that, uh, we're actually doing a graded coin and note break. Last time, last time was fun, so I grabbed a couple other ones. Um, then after that, we'll do some life fills. So, how's the full size Big Al Series 2 coming along? Series 2 is done, Joe. Just, just giving you a hard time. Series three, I just wrapped up today. I don't have all the helmets. So I'm hoping that by the very latest, we're ready to roll next Sunday. So a week from today. But it may be... What's up, Don? I didn't see your comment there. It may be sooner than that. So uh, no, you're good. You're good, Joe. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. Do a comic book break. I have three comic books here. Jay Scotty, we could maybe do one tonight, or maybe we'll just do one tomorrow on Facebook. I'm trying to figure out how to do it and pricing, so I didn't, I'm, I'm kind of behind on that. That's all right. Okay. We got fun stuff coming up. Yeah, I got three comic books. Let's see. Where are they? Uh, that's, and I also have... 
we got these graded comic out of 200 2021 mega mystery comic edition jay scotty was uh by month of release we can do that too hockey sticks i need to find where those are at to do those and we also have a graded or a signed tv script and a signed uh, movie poster that i need to just get my button gear and get those posted so we got some cool random stuff like I talked about a couple months ago that we just need to start doing. We started the, the notes and the coin. We did the uh, – didn't we do something else? No, maybe we didn't. Anyways, if you're here from eBay for the Diamond Edition, that is what we're doing first tonight, Series 7, uh, Box 77 of 100. So good luck. Um, last break was what? Hey, look, I got my new cutter, but it's, it's literally plastic. And they claim that it's just as good, but I can't cut myself now. I feel like they gave it to me because I don't know how to use a. Yeah, I know. Three in a row. Last. Uh, Tony Gonzalez. Okay. That worked pretty good. That cut pretty good. So good luck, Diamond. Also one of my favorites. My favorite thing is full size helmets. I love them. That's why. I, that's why I like doing my personal series for full size so much. Love the minis too, but full size is my is my thing. Come on, Pats or Washington football team. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Again, box seventy-seven of a hundred. See what we get tonight. Does not feel like an authentic, but maybe um, we had that really light box that ended up being a Joe Namath suspension, but this is kind of in between. This just might be a specialty or something. Or it's authentic and I just lose my mind. Who knows? Well, let's see here. Three, two, one. Uh, this is the eBay break, Joey. eBay Diamond. Okay. It's a specialty helmet. It's a Cowboys amp. Why am I not? And it is a replica. Big star signatures right on the front. I'm trying to hide it from you guys. Dak? I think I know who this is. It's right on front, which one of my biggest pet peeves, but it doesn't ruin a helmet, that's for sure. Dan Bailey, Kozar, that is ugly. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I know who that is. That's pretty cool. We haven't pulled his helmet in a long time. And it's on... Well, at least I think that's Tony Dorsett, right? Terry says, <laughs> yeah, that's only our second authentic we pulled from Diamond. It was ruined before the signature. <laughs> Tony Dorsett, number 33. I know we pulled his before, but it's been a long time. I think it was from Gold Rush last year or even Leaf from last year, 2020 or 19. I'm trying to remember. Becca certified WB52523. Got the cowboy helmet sticker on the back. Warning label. Beckett cert number and sticker. Congrats to the Cowboys. <laughs> nice helmet, bad team, you know. All right. In Big Al's Latin Series 2, Big Al's, we had the same amp, but it was signed by Emmett Smith. Who knows? We might have another Cowboys amp in Series 3 now that I've wrapped it up and I'm just waiting for them to all get here. I would take that. Congrats. I'd take it, too. I like all inlets. I really do. One star rating, says Kathleen. No, you got to give it two. Look. I dislike our amps, LOL. No one has worse designs and stuff than the Packers. They just, they're just so plain, and they always are. And I guess the Cowboys are pretty plain, too. 
the Bears, I don't know, at least the Bears have that cool ant. So it's like complete orange. Packers is just like forest green. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. So, well, I'll just switch spots. Congrats, Cowboy spot. I don't know that I know who won that one. Because most get signed at top. Is that why? Yeah, because it's that's true. There's Emmett. On the one that I had for Series 2, Emmett signed right here, which I think is there or there is the best choice. This is a little too glossy to sign in the logo. But literally, right here, right there, the problem is you can't. You can't do a big signature there. But no matter what helmet it is, J.J. Watt always signs right here, and it just plugs me. Won't stop me from buying his stuff, but I wish I could yell at him and tell him to sign next to the logo on the side. Okay, next break. Oops. So God, he's there. <laughs> I like the helmet. I think it's cool. I like all sorts of the, the uh, specialties. There's not one that, that I dislike. Hey, Hip Parade autograph Frozen Dozen. This is our last box of Series 4. I forget how heavy these things are. Hockey Kid is here. Thanks, Easton. This is box 10 of 20. Good luck, everyone. If you're here from eBay for the Frozen Dozen hockey pucks, that is where we're at now. One of my favorite breaks because we get to pull 12 hockey pucks. And not just one. Turned on the YouTubes to see Al handling some poo. Man, the Cowboys have a lot of hate. Who who in the chat hates the Packers? And you just don't say it because I'm a Packers fan. Terry told me right to my face. He said he hates the Packers. That's fine. I'm just wondering, are the Cowboys way more hated than the Packers? That's me. <laughs> but you're not even a. Are you? <laughs> you're not a Bears or a Lions or a. Who does this group hate more, the Cowboys or the Patriots? I don't think anyone hates the Patriots. I think they just hate Tom Brady. That's my. That's my uh. Hey, my side of it. I do this backwards so we don't see every puck at the same time. My opinion that is better. Okay, here we go. Puck one. Good luck, everyone. AJ Sports World Certificate. Let's go down a little bit here. A lot of bad blood from the 90s playoff games. I don't hate... I thought you said you hated the Packers. Maybe it was someone else. I hate the Patriots. <laughs> hey, Philadelphia. They seem to be one of the, the teams that hits the most in this. Pal the refs in order to succeed. Yeah, they did, but that was Brady paying the refs, not the Patriots. Let's go Blackhawks, please. Let's get it, Jake, hopefully. This is Doug Favel. Favel. Flyers hit right off the start. After the Des play, I can enjoy watching Packers lose. You didn't catch it, Warren. <laughs> that was not... <laughs> oh, that one. I talked about that one so much, too. Terry, I thought you told me something in the chat that you said you hated the Packers. Maybe it was someone else, and I'm just thinking it was you. Maybe it was Daryl. Daryl, did you tell me that? You don't know who that is, Easton? Hockey guys, do you guys know who it is? We've pulled them before. I know that name. Doug Fable, Doug Favel, Flyers. Let's hope beginner's luck. Beginner's luck is a thing. It happens all the time. Okay. Kojo. Koho. One of the two. Never heard of him, really? Someone has to know who Doug Favel Favel is. We've pulled him before. I, I mean, I just heard of the name. Ooh, nice. Dega, is this is it? Isn't the isn't the Devils the team you go for? Captain Kirk. We pulled this one before. This is a cool puck. No, I only, I only hate Cowboys and Pats. Okay, all right. Kirk Muller. Captain Kirk. Dega, let me know. Is that you? My feet is bad tonight. I heard my name but didn't hear for what. Daryl, was it you that told me that you hated the Packers? I tried to assign it to Terry, but I was wrong. You won this one already? <laughs> That's so funny. You had won the Frozen Dozen once or twice, and I remember seeing this puck. I just didn't know if it was you or not. Daryl, let me know if it was you that was bad-mouthing my Packers. I can't remember who it was now. 
And if you're in here, someone else, and you remember that it was you, just tell me. I don't care. It's all right. Okay, puck number three. Three, two, one. Ooh, a nice draft pick. Sixth pick. This looks familiar, too. No, it wasn't you either. Someone's got to fess up. This is from the draft in Los Angeles in 2010. Does not mean it's a Kings hit. Brett Connolly. Only this past January. That's right. I should have known that. Rams and Packers. Brett Connolly. Let's look this up. Okay, meh. Florida Panthers? Maybe on a new contract? Let's see. No, 2019 four-year contract. Florida. I don't think Dr. Sean got Florida. Panthers, draft pick, specialty puck. Okay, number four. Three, two, one. Pittsburgh, big old silver signature over the logo. You think he's with Boston? Brett Connolly? He was with Boston in 2015, but he's with the Panthers right now. Pittsburgh puck, Bill Guerin. Guerin. Penguins. Oh, it sounds like somebody's upstairs walking around with cinder blocks on their feet. Okay, puck five. Oh, that just ruined it. Big old name on the back. Three, two, one. Look at that one. Canadians, Stanley Cup champions, 92-93. Guy Carbonua. That's right. They I probably pronounced that wrong. That's cool. Nice blue ink over the through the bottom of the logo there. Very cool. AJ Sports World authentication. Guy Carbon New. Yeah. The Habs. Carbon No. Carbono, I should have known that. All right. Next up, this is puck number six. First half done after this one. Three, two, one. Ottawa, the Senators. They don't hit very often. And we've seen five or six of their pucks by now, but it's not every break that they hit. That's driving me nuts. Dominic Hasek. I swear we've heard of that name before. Hasek. Let's go Blackhawks, fingers crossed for the second half. The Dominator, I've heard this name, Dominic Hasek. There's no way that's Hasek. You don't think so? What, the signature or what? I don't see it either in that. I know this name. Is it? Is it? Does that not look like a signature? At the end of his career, he played with Ottawa. That's cool. Nice hit for Ottawa, then. Hold on. I'm going to look up something here. Hasek. He was a goalie, huh? That's cool. Nice. Looks like a signature to me. 
Dominic Hasek. Nice hit. Okay, puck number seven. Here we go. Three, two, one. Tampa Bay. Vincent LeCavalier. I have not pulled that dude before. I like his signature, though. That's nice. LeCavalier for Tampa Bay Lightning. We don't pull them every break either for as popular as they are. Another great hit. Yeah, it's a couple, couple in the middle here that have been pretty nice. Okay. Puck number eight. First overall pick, was he? Easton. How do you not know him if you're supposed to be my hockey guy? Three, two, one. Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm still looking for Chicago. Jake, I am. Hopefully it's in the back of the, the 12. <laughs> Ooh, Borg Salming. That's got to be a guy from Sweden or Finland or Denmark. Garbage team. <laughs> Boston next. Yeah, you would think you'd see the Rangers and the and the Blackhawks and the and uh, the Bruins. But we only have four left. Nervously sweating. Yeah, remember guys, there's twelve pucks and there's thirty one teams. So and they do a pretty good job of not doubling up, but every once in a while there's a specialty puck and then a normal puck from the same team. So we'll see. I'm not a Tampa man. Yeah, all right. Three, two, one. Hey! There's, there's one off the board. Chicago. Number 51, it looks like. I'm playing Chelsea Dagger for good luck. Uh, well, it worked. Blackhawks. Brian Campbell. They got the different sticker on this one, not the one that they usually use. Woo! He says, Brian Campbell. Chicago Blackhawks. I also like his signature. Nice hit, Chicago. Like I said, the other teams I'm I'm thinking are still in here, but it could be that neither of them are. Boston and uh, the Rangers, but that's just based off popularity. There could be smaller teams left in here. Three, two, one. Oh, there's one of them. <laughs> that's funny. You guys would probably think I'm cheating though. I don't know that I would brag about that. 52nd pick in 1985. That's his inscription. Isn't there only like 62 picks in their draft? Or they have like, I don't know, you guys told me they have like seven seven rounds. Still better draft pick than Tom Brady. Had him in reverse order. I always I always pull from the front side and come all the way to the back. They're the same order every time. Bill Ranford. Second rounder, Kings and Islanders. That's your guess. Kings too, yeah, and Islanders. Seems like we've been pulling more, more and more Islanders, but they used to be a rarer hit in the Jets too. I wonder if there's a team that I've never pulled a puck from them. I bet I've pulled one from every team, but there's got to be some that have only hit a couple times. Okay, two left. Good luck, everyone. Oh. Winter Classic. Every time I see this Winter Classic, it makes me think of the Rangers because they played in that game. I guess it's one of two. Jimmy Vesey. Winter Classic. The Winter Classic pucks are the ones that we say that it goes to the team that they played for during that game. So let's see here. Jimmy Vesey. I think it was the Rangers and another team that... Let's see here. Is it Rangers? Was it Rangers versus Flyers? Let's see. So he did play for the Rangers. And I, and I'm pretty sure they were in that game because we've had a lot of pucks from that game. 2018 Winter Classic. Yep, it was, no, Rangers and the Sabres that played in that one. VC. Okay. VC. 
Oh, he played for both teams, didn't he? He played for the Rangers and the Sabres. Oh, man. Yeah, I got you, Easton. VC. Hold on. I got to double check this one, guys. Where did he play in 2018? He played for the Rangers in 2018. He didn't play for the Sabres until the year or two after that. So this is a Rangers puck. Okay, last puck. That's funny. I said Boston and New York, and that's the next two that we pulled. See, who else are we missing? The Islanders? There's a ton of teams we're missing. Okay, last puck. Empty box. Good luck. Three, two, one. Oh, we don't pull them too often. Jets was your guess. Jamie McCoon, McCown, something like that. That's the Calgary Flames, right? We don't pull Carolina very often. We don't pull – you would think we pull Colorado more often in the pucks too. We do. Yep, that's right, Dega. Calgary, nice hit. Love that puck. Number 34 inscription, AJ Sports World. McCowan. At this point, you guys can just – Assume I'm going to pronounce it wrong, and I'll do my best, all right? Wow, that might be the only item he ever signed. He wasn't exactly a big name, was he not? I kind of like stuff like that, to be honest with you. We watch a lot of hockey up here, I know. Thanks for a nice break. I'll be back. That was not last. Yeah, no problem. We do, uh, we do more than just the Frozen Dozen, too, so go take a look. We have a hat trick coming up. It might be tomorrow. I'm not sure. We do just jerseys and just one puck break sometimes too, but the frozen dozen's fun. You get twelve chances, so it's kind of kind of fun. Tony, you are not late unless you had a spot in the uh, whatever it's called diamond or the frozen dozen. We're just a little behind as always. Okay, recap: Calgary, New York Rangers, Boston, Chicago, Toronto. Uh, Tampa Bay, and probably the hit of the box, as you guys are saying. Ottawa, Dominic Hasek. This was a cool puck for Montreal. Very cool Stanley Cup. 1992-1993 champions puck. Carbon, nah, new, now, new, new. Bill Guerin, he was a good one, too. Or Guerin. Pittsburgh. Uh, this draft puck was Florida. Say Jeez Louise. New Jersey Devils. Captain Kirk Puck. <laughs> and Philadelphia Flyers. Nice hits from the Pucks tonight, guys. Congrats. Until next time, we've kind of gotten on a schedule where we do Frozen Dozen every Sunday. That may change here soon. We might start doing a little more often. We'll see. I went to that riot in 93. <laughs> I tried to get on the football, but missed out on, on the best team in the NFL, which is the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> uh, Jake, if you're not in our Facebook group, you might be, but join our Facebook group. Group We do two or three Facebook breaks a uh, night, four or five nights a week with football stuff. That's our main thing we do. Uh, so it's kind of a way to get, or, get around the eBay fees and shipping fees and all that stuff. And uh, Yeah, so it's fun. Okay. Those are the two eBay breaks. Tony Dorsett, Amp, Alternate Helmet, Replica, Frozen Dozen. Now we are to the Facebook breaks. Uh, yeah, the uh, link is up above, Jake, if it's still there. It should be. First Facebook break of the night is the Mixer, which I try to do something a little different like we used to. Three items. Uh, truth, I saw him on CNN. <laughs> First round edition full size helmet, first round edition football jersey, and a gold rush football jersey. Uh, those that are in the break tonight, we've got James, Jeff, Jessica, Terry, Troy, Marcus, Tiger, Paul, Warren, Jay, Scotty, Terry, Evan, Scott, Evan, Chris, Don, Chad, Daryl, Chad, Tyler, Don, Ethan, Ian, uh, Patrick, Josh. I, I, I hope I'm not pronouncing it incorrectly. Is it Joey or is it pronounced differently? If, if you want to let me know, let me know. If not, I'll just keep messing it up like I do other people's names. 
Tyler, Tiger, Marcus Page, Jonathan, and Kathleen. All here for the mixer. Good luck, everyone. It's that time. You guys know me. I like to keep the full size for last. So let's start with Gold Rush. And we'll get into the first round edition jersey and then the first round edition helmet. And if we pull another John Capriotti or whatever his name is, not Capriotti, Capaletti. Right, it's a sweet helmet, but we've seen two. I don't want to see them anymore. And if we do, hopefully someone new wins it. Henry in all three. <laughs> that would be cool. Let's see. Where am I at? Do it how I want one. <laughs> do, you, do you have the Rams in this one? You do. <laughs> Hey, well, that's good. I guess if we did it tonight, it would be to uh, – I'll take the cap. The helmet looks sweet. It does. And I – my point is I like to pull different stuff, and that's probably uh, – what's what's the word? I can't take a push of me because there's no problem with hitting the same players. They're kind of cool or different, but that's true. Marcus is in the corner, Daryl, if you're interested. Okay, first up, Gold Rush jersey. Good luck, everyone. We've pulled some sweet jerseys lately from both Hip Parade and Gold Rush. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I think we have two left from this series, and then we've got two cases of the new series that are already out. Didn't even hit the shelves, which is annoying. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Not on the Oakland jersey, but it's Alabama. I have no idea, Josh, if you've won one of these before, but this is yours if you have Oakland, which you do. Oakland Raiders. Henry Ruggs. It does look like Redskins, but it's actually Alabama. Henry Ruggs, the second. Beckett verified V44534. Yes, you do have one, Josh, or yes, you did have Oakland. That's awesome. Nice. Henry Ruggs. Is he the third or the second? Oh, he's the third. Excuse me, Henry. I almost cried when I saw the Bama colors. <laughs> My first Ruggs. Awesome. Nice hit, man. I think he's a baller, too. Henry Ruggs. Nice jersey. We've pulled this before from this. No, I mean, it was the last series. I think Quentin won it, if I'm remembering correctly. Cert number V44534 from Beckett. Nice start. Oakland is on the board. Love it. Okay, next up, first round. Is this going to be one of those weird nights where everything aligns and we hit three Oakland things? Everyone's saying no, please don't, besides Josh. I kind of like this little new safe cutter I've got. It works just fine. I won't cut myself again like I did the other day. That's my knowledge on football for you. Hey, it was not a bad guess with my non-high definition camera. It looked kind of like Redskins colors, that's for sure. Okay, first round edition. This is series 10. We've got a case of this. Uh, I think this is the first. This is. This is the first box from this case. So we'll get to see what a case of first-round jerseys looks like. This is box one, but really box 63 of 100. Good luck. Three, two, one. Ooh. I think I know who that is. I don't want to look at the label and cheat. That color is... Brown, take that for what it's worth. If this is this team, I don't think we've pulled any of his items before. Not Raiders, it's Brown. Anyone know? Basically only one team that's Brown, the, the Browns. JSA uh, II58163, anyone know who that signature is? That's right, Chris Najoku. 
cool. David Njoku, is he still with Cleveland too? He actually was a baller in his in his uh, bold guess with the Browns being brown. Yeah, I guess that there's some Redskins that are brown and there's some uh, Tampa Bay that's brownish. But it does look black on my uh, screen. Yeah, see, he's still there. He's kind of a physical specimen, isn't he? Yeah, he's still there. David Njoku. Drafted in 2017, round one, pick 29. He only made it into this series by three picks. Cleveland, who had the Browns tonight, that was... Where am I at, Cleveland? Paul. Nice hit, Paul. The Browns, custom David Njoku, Cleveland Browns jersey. Two AFC hits so far, Oakland and Cleveland. Time to go to the NFC for the full size. I'm going to keep on the college trend for these helmets. Are we going back to NFL? Okay, this is the third and final item, final item from the first mixer tonight from Facebook. Saving my hit for the full size. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's, that's why these are kind of fun. You know, fourth and goal, if you hit something, you know you're probably not going to hit again. But these, when they're just random items put together, you could triple up. You know, that happens, but he only made first round because Cleveland picked up a second first round pick. Did he? Did they? Hey, maybe someone else would have took him. Don't. Well, Sully has good name. Here comes Bob Lilly. Yes, Easton. I'm letting Easton. Easton's a hockey guy. Since you're here and you hang out and usually don't buy spots, Easton, if you get this team right, the NFL team, even if it's a college one, if you get this right, I will give you a free spot in our next hockey jersey break. Boom. And don't everyone say, oh, don't, don't, why won't you do that for me? Because I decided, that's why. So, Easton, give me your guess on the NFL team. Make this interesting. Oh, why is Alex giving a spot to Easton and not anyone else? Because I want to. And he has only one out of 32 chance, so. I watch, he'll get it. People can't get the college team right, but Easton will get the NFL team right. Go with the, go with the Rough Riders, Easton. That's a good guess. Or go with the uh, go with the Orlando uh, Magic Giants. <laughs> okay, Giants, good guess. Easton, Easton, Easton. Okay, good luck. I'm on box twenty of one hundred series six first round edition. This is the newer series. Newer been out. Whoop, almost knocked it off. Been out for a while. It will be Colts Jacob Eason. Ooh. What do we have inside here? College or NFL? Remember, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If it's a college player that gets awarded to the Giants, that counts too. And don't come asking for more of these freebies, all right? This is this is this is a good chance here, all right? I want to see an NFL helmet. It's probably going to be a college helmet. Three, two, one. Oh, not the Giants. So close, Easton. Same. Conference, at least. You're on the right half. Where'd I put that? Right there. Chicago. That goes to Mr. Marcus. Told you I was waiting. <laughs> Who said Trubisky? Haha, -ha, Tony? Trubisky ain't a bad hit. Yeah, it could be Cole Komet. That's right, Bob. 
Could be Walter Payton. Was he selected in the first round? <laughs> now I hate the Bears. <laughs> Singletary? Yeah, this could be anyone, guys. Was Ditka a first rounder, too? Okay, three, two, one. Did you really get that right? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> that, is, that is Mitch Trubisky. <clears throat> he was a first rounder. Tony, did you guess Trubisky before? Did you guess Trubisky before you saw the team? Or did you say that after you saw Chicago? If you guessed that before you saw Chicago, that's kind of insane. Oh my gosh. That's nuts. I've never seen a Trubisky helmet pulled. I don't watch a lot of breaks, but I've never pulled one. Fanatics. B029013. Oh, my gosh, Tony. That's impressive. I'd rather take a Cutler cigarette butt relic. <laughs> you guys are hating on Trubisky, man. You did crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Marcus, Chicago helmet. Plays like a third rounder. He does have a good signature. I actually like that. I thought it said 40 for a second, not 10. So I was like, that's not Gail Sayers. Tony picked me some lot of numbers. Tony, $5 big owl credit because that was pretty and crazy. And pretty incredible. Amazing. I just tried to say incredible, amazing, and crazy, and it came out as in crazy or something. Nice. Okay, Bears, Raiders, and I can't remember the third one. Gosh. Browns. Bears, Raiders, Browns. Fan-controlled football. <laughs> I watched that the other day for the first time. Uh, yeah, he's. He, I think he crumbled under pressure because they could have picked Patrick Mahomes and he was told that every day of his life. Poor guy. Okay, next break up on Facebook is not the coin one, it's the college jersey. We've got Joe, Tony, Nate, Ian, and Jason. Everyone knows what time it is. Guess your college guesses. For those that are new, I let you guess what team you think is going to be for college, not the NFL team. If you get it right, two days in a row, two consecutive guesses in a row, you get either a free mini or a jersey. If you get it right the three days in a row, you get a full size from Big Al's. If you get it wrong on day three after getting it right two days in a row, you then receive the mini or the jersey. Not both. If you get around day three, you substitute the jersey of the mini for a full size. But if you get it wrong on day three, you go back and you at least win the jersey of the mini. No one has gotten to two yet. A bunch of ones. So give me your college guesses. This is for the jersey. This is series six. We have one more series six left and then some series seven. So uh, still a bunch of headliners we have not seen pull from this. We did pull one already, and it was my man A-Rod, which I was pretty happy about. Sarcastic. I mean, it was fun pulling it, but it sucked shipping it off. Heaven. And then Evan sent me a picture of it framed in his house, so at least I know it's being protected. He's not wearing well, he's eating chicky tenders like whoever said the other day, or chicky wings. Okay, the guesses are Tennessee, LSU, LSU. Hopefully I didn't use all my luck. Yeah, if you get this right again, that would be crazy. Florida, Tennessee. Clemson, Ohio, Ohio State, Oklahoma. Al, who was the jersey? There was a David Njoku, Cleveland Browns jersey, and a Henry Ruggs, Alabama jersey, which was the Raiders. 
Um, Ohio State Dobbins for the player. <laughs> what the heck? Might as well try. LSU, Ohio State, LSU, Florida State, Bama, Cal, Oklahoma, TCU, I'm feeling Georgia, Auburn, Navy, Baylor, please be Georgia, Maryland. And we all guessed wrong. I will give everyone $50 credit. <laughs> Easton, I just explained it. If you get this right, then make sure you're here tomorrow. Because if you get it right two days in a row, you start winning some free stuff. So Vegas says USC. I like the Maryland guess. That would be cool, David. Let's get a Stefan Diggs Maryland jersey. Ooh. Isn't that where he played? Didn't he play at Maryland? All I know is I wanted the Packers to draft him. We didn't. Okay, 60 out of 100. Good luck, everyone. Who else played at Maryland? I used to love Maryland college basketball when I was a little kid. I had their shorts. I'm trying to remember who their point guard was back then that I really liked. And they had that other, that big, that big guard, or that big uh, forward that was really good too with the dreads. I can't remember his name. DeAndre Swift, Georgia. Oh, that could be. I still think South is going to make an appearance at some point, Nate. Okay, good luck. After this, we will do the coin and note break, and then we will get to uh, some white fills if we have enough interest. Okay, box sixty of one hundred. Here we go. Bama for Shane, just in time, Rick. Thank you. Shane says Bama. Three, two, one. Uh-oh, it's folded small, and it looks like... Is this Notre Dame? It looked like it was folded small. Who is that? Is this Notre Dame? Is this Georgia Tech? Who could this be? Penn State for Rick. You think this is Notre Dame? Oh. Or Navy. That was another guess. Rick Mirror? <laughs> Does Rick Mirror play for Navy or was he Notre Dame? Not going to see that name very often. Let's see here. Was he a bear? He kind of played everywhere, didn't he? Notre Dame. Oh, man, this is going to be a fun one. Let's see. Oh, uh, no. Looking like it's going to be Seattle. I think it's a Seattle hit, actually, guys. Oh, Vegas said that. Seahawks, Notre Dame. Yeah, he played, uh, oh, yeah, 29, 44, 55. 55 games for Seattle. He played seven for Chicago, zero for Green Bay while he was there, eight for the Jets, one for San Francisco, nine for Oakland, and zero for Detroit. Seattle Seahawks. How did no one pick Notre Dame? I don't know. Did no one pick it? Whoa, Don picked Navy. That would have been cool had she got that one right. Can't miss Prospect. <laughs> he was actually an early pick. Too. I know his name. I know who he is. Rick Mirror, 1993, round one, pick number two. Second pick in the draft, high school All-American, UPAFC Rookie of the Year, quarterback. Nice getting the quarterback jersey. Drafted by the Seahawks, and that's who this jersey belongs to. Last division to be picked. Hey, happens all the time. That is FC West, and that was Jay, wasn't it? After Bledsoe, was it? That's cool. Bledsoe and then Mirror, huh? <laughs> That's kind of cool. You don't you don't see a jersey like this very often. I know you guys just want to see the the Tua's and the Trevor Lawrence's, where else the Joe Burrows. Send it in saying it's not Joe Montana number three. <laughs> that was Jason. Just verifying. 
Yay, nice hit. Okay, now we are to the coin and note break, which I had a lot of fun doing last time. Let's do that here. I still want to pull a $100 bill like you guys are saying, but if I find out that you crack that open and spend that 1932 $100 bill, I swear. That class had Bledsoe, Garrison Hurst, Matron Means, Mayor, Jerome Bettis. Nice. See, Jeff knows who Mayor is. <laughs> I picked LSU every night except when I Notre Dame once and LSU hit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Who's the bear lid? It is Mitch Trubisky, Jeff. That was from the first round box. Uh, yes, again, we'll do some live breaks after this. We're probably going to do a Big Al's mini series live break, or we'll probably do a two boxer. Um, and then we'll do a hockey jersey, and we'll probably do some, if, if anyone's still around, we'll do some football jerseys after that. Can we guess this one as well? Can't guess the coin one, though. Okay, coin and note, we had Jason, Derek, Don, Raul, Jonathan, Joe, and Megan. Megan and Don won last time. I thought both the items last time were pretty sweet. Oops, let's get the lid off there. Okay, let's go coin first. Series 2, 20 of 100. All-American edition graded coin. $2 bill and a nickel. That's what we had last time, yep. So remember, the thing we changed this time that will be different from last break, uh, the coin will still go off of the last number of the year. So it will be the year on the coin. But instead of the year on the bill, since the bills aren't printed every year, it will be the last digit on the serial number, which is usually the red number across the bill. So we'll try that out for a couple breaks and see if that's better. But that will lead to a little more variety. And I put that in the heading. So if you didn't see it, I'm sorry, but it was there. Okay, let's see what we get first here. Three, two, one. Is that a Sacagawea? It is. Sacagawea? I'm not sure how you say it incorrectly, so I apologize if I'm... That is cool. Wait, this is a 2020? Is that real? Anti-discrimination law, PF69 Ultra Cameo. Is this really a 2020 coin? No. It might be, actually. No, I knew I, I, I said it the way that I knew I was, but I just, I've heard other people say it the other way, so I don't know what's the right way. This is a 2020 nice and bright and silver. I wonder if there's collectible value to this i just don't i don't know it's like a limited edition one 2020 that's about as bright of a coin as you can see but i don't see a date on the coin anywhere what's the what's the face value of these things it is a is a sacagawea what oh it's just a one dollar coin huh okay that's what i thought Feels like cultural appropriation. Uncirculated, is it? Will grow will grow in value. 2020p. I can't even see the date on here, to be honest with you. It just has the anti-discrimination law on the bottom there. One dollar. Uh, there's little, little, little marking on the middle there that I just can't see. And you're not going to see it with my camera either, because. So that goes to zero which is Jason, and this side has nothing, just liberty and God we trust and the pitcher. Okay. There might be a date inside there that I just can't see really, really, it's really small, but it is 2020. Look up the registration number. I could try that, but 
I mean, it's it's labeled as a 2020. You want me to double check? I will. That's fine. How do I look that up? Jeez. That one's kind of cool. Um, this isn't like going to Beckett. I don't know how to look this up. You guys want me to give you the? I'll give you the number in there. So, oh, maybe it's right here. Yeah, right here. Let's see. Should only contain numbers. Well, why'd you give me a check? Yeah, it is 2020. I'll let you guys look it up here. Here's here's the little number that gives me. Then we'll get to the bill, so I don't waste my time doing that. That's the number they give me. Congrats. That's going to Jason. Uncirculated. Anti-discrimination law. PF69 Ultra Cameo. 2020. Oh, it's a 2020 S. Oh, sorry, I just missed that. 2020 S. Not P. Oh. Man, it's not like looking up teams for football, is it? Graded note. Two of 50. There's less of these than there are the coins. I thought that $2 bill was pretty sweet last time. Are we going to get another $2 bill? That's stupid thing. Hold on to that baby for a little longer. It's only 2020. That thing will probably grow in value. Okay, everyone, let's see the right side here. Three, two, one. Five, five dollar bill. <laughs> why why are we getting such <laughs> the last ones were like what 1940 and 1960? This is the year 1995, which we're not going off of, but also the last number in the serial number is a five. Five, that is Don again. Did you win the last bill too? So there's got to be a reason why this is a little more rare. Gem uncirculated, it says. 1995 Federal Reserve Note, Minneapolis. Joe, you know anything about this one? Or why it's more rare? I will offer four. <laughs> There's got to, that's a clean bill too. There's got to be something about this one. It's uncirculated. Withrow Rubin, it says. There's got to be a reason why this one is a little more rare, but I don't know what it is. I can do some research. Yes, a two and a five now. Check number sequence. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, guys. $5 bill from 1995 with the serial number 5. Yeah, 65, 5, 5, 95, all fives all around. Does it have a star after the serial numbers? It doesn't. Just an A. Okay. Don and Jason. I need to do some more research because i got to figure out what makes that rare or what. I don't know. Yeah, I, I get what a pattern is, Nate. I'm just not sure what you're asking me to do with that. Check number sequence. 69343645. I don't know if, if you're saying that some that have a, a number sequence are worth more. Who knows? Okay. That does it for all the Facebook breaks. We got a couple more of those. We'll give we'll, we'll keep giving them a try. Uh, these ones are both newer. The last ones were a lot older. Take that for what it's worth, I guess. Is it a five dollar silver for silver? I don't know. Yeah, that, that bill is really clean, but I mean, it, I guess I'm, I'm thinking 1995 was just a couple days ago, but it's literally 26 years ago now. 
I don't know. Okay, let's do some live breaks. Let's do uh yeah, it's not that old. Let's do a hockey jersey first. If we have enough around for hockey, I'm gonna paste the divisions. We'll try to rattle through a couple of these live fills. Al, can you tell me in the next break if I have the Eagles or the Colts? Um, we are done with all the Facebook breaks you had in the ones we already did. Let's see. You had the Eagles in the mixer, which we already opened. It was Chicago, Cleveland, and Oakland. And then I'm not sure. You weren't in the college break, and you weren't in the coin break. So uh, didn't hit on Philadelphia. You had Philly, though. Okay, let me paste the divisions here, guys. Don't claim yet. Again, this is just to look at until we actually claim. And we may not have enough hockey guys in here to do it, so don't pay unless it fills, okay? We'll give it a try. If it doesn't, we'll move on. There are the groups for the hockey jerseys. It's 28 bucks a division. Four teams a division besides group eight, which only has three. Figure names on that one. You claim by number, but not until after I post. Still Series 6 from Hit Parade, same case. Okay, there it is. I don't know. I haven't jumped in the last time and you got yourself a hockey jersey. Okay, I've got Ian with 6. Uh, Dago with 3. Brad's got five. Nate has got four. Tatas has got eight. Brad has got two. Yeah, one's good enough for Evan. <laughs> One, Nate, you've got it. That leaves just group seven, guys. Washington, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Anaheim. And Nate's taking them. Okie dokie. Okay, one, Nate, Brad, two. Uh, Dega 3, Nate 4, Brad 5, Ian 6, Nate 7, and Tatas 8. $28 a division. I'll grab the next box on top. We're in the second half now. Second half of the case is what I mean by that. Easton wants to know, Dega, if Detroit is for sale. You were in eBay breaks too. Uh, the eBay breaks were the ones that happened first, very first. Um, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Were you here to watch what uh, what was hit? Give me a second here. I'll find it. I'll find it. If it'll load. Did you were you on eBay tonight, Joey? Sold my jersey easily, did you? That's cool. I'm gonna keep them. eBay was just the Cowboys helmet and the pucks. Yeah. Uh, let me. We might be. We might be confused, Joey. Let send me a message on Facebook if you're confused. You. I think you had one like a week ago, from what I can see, from a jersey break. Um. But the eBay, the eBay ones tonight were just the full-size helmet and the pucks. The Facebook stuff, you were having the Eagles in that tonight, but they didn't hit, unfortunately. Nate, are you drinking again? No, maybe. Okay, box 11 of 100. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, if you guys ever have questions about stuff, just, just message me on Facebook. I'll, I'll respond. It will be a stammer for Tampa. Well, let's see. Let's get a cool, colorful jersey tonight. 11 of 100. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Kind of a... It's a fanatic swan? Kind of a darker color blue, maybe? With some red? 
Is this USA? BS maybe? Number 76? With the inscription of 76? Is it PK Subban again? Isn't he a good player? Is that who it is? Jeff, you asked that. It's it's Mitchell Trubisky. If you need me to type it, let me know. Is this really PK? Nope. It's not. And it's an Adidas Authentic. It's not Subban. Isn't this one of the headliners? No. Adidas Authentic? Who is this? Look at this name. Skajay. Brady. Let's see. Let's, hold on, hold on, hold on. That might be a Carolina Hurricanes hit. Oh, no, sorry. We go say his name three times. I can't. Sorry, it's not Carolina. I'm thinking of pucks. It's whatever's on the jersey, Alex. I know, I know, I know. He played for the Rangers and the Hurricanes, and this looks like a Rangers jersey. Sorry, got confused, got confused. It's the Rangers. I know you guys are right. I got confused like the pucks. I hate that it happens and I have to wait like 20 seconds for all you guys to correct me because of the delay in the chat. Adidas Authentic? Woohoo! Oh man, this is sweet. Wait till you see the front on this bad boy. Look at that thing. Rangers. Ian, you're a New York guy, right? Don't you like all things New York? That's what I usually see a bit on. You already have his white one? That's cool. Adidas authentic with the New York patch on it. Oh, yeah, all New York. That's awesome, man. This is a sweet jersey, too. USA size 54. Climalite. Rangers going across New York patch. Uh, most likely a strap in here. There it is. I'm going off screen, but that is cool, man. What a cool jersey. And I'm pretty sure you had it, right? Six, Ian. Yep. I know. I thought about that, too, Ian, with, with these hockey jerseys, with how cool they look on the front. That's hard. Nice. Adidas Authentic. Very cool. Someone, This one I actually want to know. Hey, there's Jim, yeah. This time I actually want to know how you pronounce that name, because that's like Skiji in my mind. Spell that one out for me. Nice hit, Ian. Very cool. Okay, do we have enough hanging around to do a uh, live fill for Big Al's Minis, or should we take a day off from Big Al's Minis? We got we to gotta fill 32 teams. We'll do a two-boxer, so just 12 bucks, but um, I'm fine taking a break on it if you guys want to. We could try a comic book. The problem is I don't know... Uh, I haven't looked at pricing. Let me see if I can. Just sneeze and you said it right. Shea, that's how you say his name? Brady Shea is how to pronounce it? Really? Holy moly. Okay, that's easier than I thought. Let's, let's try many can't fill all 32 teams then we'll we'll back off don't pay until it fills okay we'll do that first um give me a second here it'll be a two boxer for 12 bucks claim by team and there it is so again do not pay until we see if it'll fill we don't have as much around we took a little bit longer to do this one so Let's let those roll in. Those three comments are after my comment as far as I can see. So those three right on my side, you may see it differently. 
But three came in a little faster than the others, and we're going to roll with it because that's what we've always done. Who would we pull the other night from the minis? I can't remember who our last night of minis were. It wasn't Breeze because we did a two-boxer. Oh, both the Chrome Colleges. Kirk Cousins, Chrome, Michigan State, and Cortland Sutton, Chrome, SMU. That's right. Okay, let's see who we got. Derek with KC. Uh, Jonathan with Pittsburgh. Uh, Joe with the Patriots. Marcus, Cincinnati. Josh has got the Raiders and the Dolphins back to back. That's impressive. Josh, Raiders and Josh. Uh, Warren, Dallas. Patty, Tampa Bay. Uh, where am I at? I already lost my spot. Oh, Galen, Green Bay. Terry Late, Miami. Matt Bell, you've got Baltimore. Uh, Jonathan Late Miami, uh, Kathleen, you got Washington. Uh, Raul Late Green Bay, Ethan, you've got Seattle. Uh, Marcus Late Seattle, Terry, you've got Detroit. Uh, Patty, you've got the Jets. Ethan, you've got New Orleans. Holy moly, lots of retracted. Uh, Tiger Late Bengals. Tiger, you've got San Francisco. And then we've got Raul with Minnesota. Uh, Galen with Atlanta. Uh, Jonathan Late, San Francisco. Dega, you've got Tennessee. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. Retract it, retract it, retract it, retract it. Evan, Indy. If you're retracting because you didn't win the team, just let it sit. That's fine. If you're retracting because you may have won and you don't want it, that's fine. But you don't need to retract if, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Evan, Indy. Derek, you've got Arizona. Jonathan, you've got the Chargers. Uh, Nate, late with New England. Marcus, you've got Chicago. Okay, I'm going to rattle off teams. I'm not going to type them. These are the ones that are still left. Buffalo, Carolina, Cleveland, Denver, Houston, Jacksonville, Los Angeles Rams, New York Giants, Philadelphia. After we fill a couple here, um, I'll type the ones that are left. But just off those that I just listed, claim what you want from those. Terry, you'll take Buffalo. Joe will take Houston. Nate's just behind on Houston. That leaves Carolina, Cleveland, Denver, Jacksonville, Rams, Giants, and Philly. We will win. Yes, you will. Uh, Nate, you've got Philly right before Tiger. Uh, David, you've got Denver. Marcus, you've got the Browns. Uh, Derek, Carolina. Raul just behind on the Browns. That leaves Jacksonville, Rams, and Giants, guys. Yeah, let me know how you do, Easton. You and Coach Jim. Tiger, take the Rams. Thank you, Tiger. Giants and Jaguars left, guys. We're getting close enough, so. Yep, see ya. Giants and Jags. Let me get the spinner here. Rally, you'll take the Giants. Thank you, sir. Nate, you'll take Jacksonville. Thank you. Okay. Derek, Arizona, Galen, Atlanta, Matt B, Baltimore, Terry, Buffalo, Derek, Carolina, Marcus, Chicago, and Cincy, and Cleveland, Warren, Dallas, David, Denver, Terry, Detroit, Galen, Green Bay, Joe, Houston, Evan, Indy, Nate, Jacksonville, Derek, Kansas City, 
Jonathan, the Chargers, Tiger, the Rams, uh, Josh, Miami, Raul, Minnesota, Joe, New England, Ethan, New Orleans, Raul, New York Giants, Patty, New York Jets, Josh, Oakland, Nate, Philly, Jonathan, Pittsburgh, Tiger, San Francisco, Ethan, Seattle, uh, Patty, Tampa Bay, Dega, Tennessee, and Kathleen, Washington. Two bucks or 12 bucks. You find a wait till after this to pay since I made you wait. That way we can get rolling. Let's give it the old shake rooski. Two balls. It's oh, okay. it was like locked, but then it unlocked itself. 49. 65. Let me grab them, guys. Close to the top. I like it. Oh, no, all over boxes. Oh, great. A box of fives are going to fall unless I do justice. Good, I think. Okay. 49. Where did I put it? Right here. Is that 90? 49 and 65. Find 65. Hold on, there the cubbies, and it takes me an hour to find the right number. 74, 75, 64. So how else do that tape together? 63. Oh my gosh, 671. 72, 70, 62, 60. The very last one, 67, 61, unbelievable, hold on guys, come to Papa, 69, 66, is it going to be the last one I look at, nope, second to last, 65, Goodness gracious. Okay. Now that I'm out of breath from digging for treasure. Okay, is that right? 49.65, Good luck, everyone. Any more college tonight? Any more chromes tonight? Any more big names tonight? Good luck. Three, two, one. Kansas City Eclipse. They have one of the best eclipses. I don't know why, but red looks good on them. Who is this one? Oh, this one? I like this one. Nate needs a win. <laughs> Kansas City Eclipse, it is. We pulled his full size a while back from Hit Parade, which I had never seen his name pulled, and now I've seen it a couple times, maybe once or twice, and now here. Who recognizes it? JSA WIT one five eight no one five four eight two four D B number eighty two Tough Crowd Dwayne Bow Tom Zimmer <laughs> There guy Dwayne Bow Correct Okay, box number 65 is second up tonight. Drew Brees is DB, but he's not number 82. We did pull the Drew Brees flat white the other day for Terry. That thing's a beaut. Okay, good luck, everyone. Three, two, one. 
Hey, hey, Redskins. Who is this one? Old school looking helmet here. JSA authenticated. Is that our second Redskins now? Kathleen, did you have Washington? You did. Who recognizes it? Number 24. 24. Not Portis. Washington football team. That's right. Sorry. Although this is not, but... Champ Bailey, that's right. Terry, that's like 30 years of calling him that. It's going to be a hard one for me to change it, but I'll attempt. Do I need to change him on the listings too now? I definitely mean uh, no harm in saying that, but I know I could call them by their new name, their right name. And Vegas Raiders, I know. I can't, though. That's so hard. I'll start doing it. Big Hal's going to have to take the Coca-Cola HR training. Sell the franchise, pick a new pick a new name. Yeah. It's annoying. It really is. Okay. Washington football team and the Kansas City Chiefs. Champ Bailey, Dwayne Bow, throwback on the Champ Bailey, and Eclipse on Dwayne Bow. Cold steak. Steak, too, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, I've got one more um, ice cold here. Yeah, sorry, Nate. I've got one more Hit Parade Series 19 football jersey uh, that we can break tonight. I mean, I've got other stuff, too, but one more before we can get into the new case. Um, the one we pulled the other night was John Elway. We could do one more of those if there's enough interest. We did those at $26 a division, or we can call it right here and all go to bed and return tomorrow for those that can return. You guys let me know. We can, we can try doing a comic tomorrow night as well, Joe, not tonight. I want to look at the right pricing so I don't over or undercharge you guys. Terry, at least, uh, at least Big Al's full size series three will be back at the end of the week. Hopefully, it... see you, Jim. Good luck with your game, man. Okay, I'm gonna try hip parade jersey, guys. Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta post the divisions just in case. Yeah, that, again, don't don't claim unless you guys want to. If we if we can't fill this, don't pay till filled. We'll just we'll call them that. We've had some cool stuff pulled tonight, so I'm I'm good to call whenever 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 everyone else is. So those are the groups for football. Eleven teen says Nate. Uh, I'll post it here in just a second. Hip parade football jersey series nineteen is what it is. Twenty six dollars a division. Claim by a number. There it is, 26. Let's try that. And this will probably be our last break, guys. We could do a mini, but I'm going to hold off on the Gold Rush minis. Because I have a suspicion that this one may not fill. We'll see. Joe, five. I should let it simmer before I start calling out numbers. Okay, Joe 5, Nate 2, uh, Terry 3, uh, Jay Scotty laid on 5, Nate, you've got 8, Evan, you've got 7, and Jonathan late 2. That leaves 1, 4, and 6. Jonathan, you got 6. That leaves 1 and 4. 1 is Dallas, Tampa Bay, Arizona, Jacksonville. Four is KC, Tennessee, Indy, and Washington. Scott, four. Thank you, Scott.
just missing one. Dallas, Tampa Bay, Arizona, and Jacksonville. Oh, gosh, this one has a rip on the top, too. Just from sitting in there, you can see it just right here. That's the only rip there is. Terry, I'll take one. Thank you, Terry. Okay, Terry 1, Nate 2, Terry 3, Scott 4, Joe 5, Jonathan 6, Evan 7, and Nate 8. This is the last break tonight, guys. I'm going to have to use my cutter on this part because it was already ripped. Box, I think that's just a 5, not 51. Box 5 of 100. Hit Parade Series 19. Feels heavy. Maybe just a big, big jersey. We shall see. And then we're back tomorrow. I want to say we got a hat trick tomorrow, which I like the hat tricks. So I think they're fun. Three items. Let's check. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. Nope. We don't have a hat trick tomorrow. We have hockey puck, hockey jersey, and hockey mini helmet. It's all hockey on eBay tomorrow. No football. We'll say football for Facebook. Okay, good luck, everyone. Series 19, box 5 of 100. This jersey feels, this box feels heavy. I don't know why. What if, is there hot boxes on these? That would be cool. Three, two, one. <laughs> I called it. It is a hot box. That's twice we've gotten hot boxes now in the past week or two. I love it. Now, if we can just make the hot box not go to two different teams. It didn't feel heavy enough for it to be a hot box. It just felt like a a custom. Man, that's sweet. I want to not ruin the second jersey. So let's do this. Let's do like a second opening so you guys can't cheat. Is that really what it is? It is. That's a cool jersey. We've pulled his helmet a ton of times, but we've not pulled his jersey before. Cincinnati. That's group eight. That's Nate needs to win. That's you can tell that signature from a mile away because it looks nothing like him. Corey Dillon, what a cool jersey. Awesome. Their black jersey with orange trim, white letter, black uh, signature on there. Schwartz authenticated. Nice thick jersey too. Congrats. Nice hit, Nate. Corey Dillon, one of my favorite players growing up. I did like him a lot. Okay, Jersey 2. So cool. 3, 2, 1. Oh, I can tell you that that's an authentic from a mile away. You can tell. I looks just like the John Elway the other night. I mean, I could be wrong. That looks like the Chargers to me. Chargers are group three. They are, Jeff. Yep. I mean, they have a ton of different ones, but yeah, I have some of those. You got a Pat Stone helmet too? Nice. This is for sure an authentic. I'm almost positive. That is Joey Bosa. Beckett. I wonder if this is pro line or what. Chargers. That is group three, and that is Terry. Nice hit, Terry. Uh, most likely, Jeff. Yeah, I'll probably do one or two tomorrow. I'll probably do a Facebook fill, though, not a live fill on that, just so we can try it out. We're thinking about doing the month it was released, so January through December, but we'll, we'll see. I'm going to look at some other people and see how they do it. Terry, do you want me to take this out and look at it? Should we see? Uh, I think it's Nike. Oh, yeah, Nike. That's awesome. Let me let me pull it out safely and let's take a gander before we sign off. Hot box. How cool, man. We've gotten two of those now. One hockey and one football. Yeah, PM me, Jeff. I love it. You can always tell that it's authentic too because the numbers are way smaller. Oh, 
this is nice. This is a large. Joey Bosa, 99 Chargers. Dark jersey here. I love the coloring around the name, too. Light blue with the yellow letters. Got your Nike got Chargers logo on the front there. NFL patch. Nike uh, tag on the back. Tag still on. Bottom patch, large. Very cool. Cool shoulder uh, charger bolts. That's sweet. Nice hit, Terry. Authentic is an authentic. Very nice. And a Bosa brother, nonetheless. I'll pull it up better later. Which Bengals version does it have the kitty cat? Uh, this one is not authentic, so it most likely has nothing on the front. It's a custom. I can double check, but let's see here. Usually football is, yeah, nothing on the front there. Or if you're playing with the number on the front. I can't for the life of me hit a Montana jersey. <laughs> yeah, we hit a bunch of them for a while there from Leaf and stuff. And then we we had two from Gold Rush, the black alternates, which were pretty cool. And then we had a white one, and we haven't seen them since. So, Okay, congrats. Hot box, two winners, which I love. Corey Dillon and Joey Bosa, Nike Authentic. Very cool. Okay, that does it for tonight, guys. Uh, appreciate you hanging out. Like always, we'll be back tomorrow with what looks to be like a hockey eBay day and then probably an NFL Facebook day. And then we're off Tuesday. So back tomorrow and then off for a day and then back Wednesday. Thursday may just be a Facebook day and no eBay because I forgot to put the listings on Thursday. <sighs> Anyways, good hits tonight, guys. Awesome. Cool minis, cool full sizes, cool hockey stuff. I like the pucks, too. Very cool. All right. I am out of here. I will see you guys tomorrow, and we'll go from there. Appreciate it, guys.